I'm D Rose, and this is the return. I was injured basically almost the whole year, so I'm thinking like in the playoffs, I'm like, I'm good. First game of the playoffs, <laughs> injured. The next game is back at home, and I got to take the ball out to center court in my hometown. When I tore my ACL, I didn't think that it was nothing big. So the whole time I'm in the MRI machine, I'm just praying, crying and stuff, hoping that it wasn't tore. Think of your most downest day in times that about 100. That ain't enough to describe how I felt at that time. I have waited a couple of weeks because they call it pre-rehab, where they try to strengthen it as much as possible. I was almost walking regular. You have some people that have ACL tears and they go a whole year without getting surgery. So I went a couple of weeks, I had to get surgery. You know, he's, he's, he, he's full of athleticism and he's really never had to do the rehab components in life. That's why I really believe he has a chance to be under 25%. I'm back at zero again and starting back over. I never had a base. Working on my upper body strength, working on my balance, working on my core. Now we know we're getting closer. It's definitely been tough, but I'll be all right. I know it's going to help me in the long run. Nobody can believe in me. In the beginning, just me and my friends. Me and my friends, my city, and my fans. That's it. That's all I need. I, I want to be great. I'm going to be great. There's no doubt about it. When the injury went down, it was felt across the world. Even if you weren't a true basketball fan, just the character and professionalism that he showed. And he's going to remind everybody why they call him D. Rose. He's going to show perseverance and courage and, and get back on court. I'm D. Rose, and this is The Return. time the playoffs was going on. I only watched a couple of games from every series, but I wasn't into it like I was if I was playing. I know that's going to push me to work even harder, thinking of them winning the championship. It's just going to drive me, and I know I'm going to have another year. I was just worried about my health. My trainers that's back in Chicago that work for the Bulls, they interviewed people and they told me to come here to LA, to AP. Um, these things I never learned before where I used to just go out there and just hoop, just learn how to march again, walk, run, all that stuff. I'm just trying to get healthy. That's my biggest thing, get my body together rebuilding my whole body and have a lot of confidence in myself and see where it takes me. It's just a blessing, uh, a real blessing to see that this injury can't stop me. Basketball changed everybody's lives that was around me. We was able to see the whole world, be with each other. That's one of the reasons why we're so close because we've been hooping with each other since we was in sixth grade. So you have like a, a brotherhood. Basketball was always my place to escape. It was peaceful when I was out there. Just having belief and hope, it got me here. I can't wait till I win one. 
will never stop. Derek, I just want to say um, you are um, a great role model to me. Um, you inspire my game so much, and you know I play just like you. And um, I hope to, you know to be humble like you. And I just hope that you make a, a great recovery. I'm D. Rose, and this is The Return. I started playing basketball ever since probably, what, four, or three or four? And ever since then, I just, like, always loved the game. When I was growing up, my biggest thing was just getting to the league. I wasn't thinking about shoe deals or a gym shoe or anything. I really saw what hard work can do for someone's life. My biggest fight right now, I would have to say, just staying focused, being patient, because I'm impatient. If you think about it, I never stop. This is the only time in my life where I actually stopped playing basketball. Even in high school, I was always going. Then thinking that I was gonna be able to play in the Olympics this year, it just killed my dream. This is going to be a tough day. If I can pass this day, I can pass any day. This injury gives me time to appreciate the people that's around me, be grateful for what I have, just live life. I'm 23, but I've been in the league since I was 19. So just doing what you were supposed to do, that's all you have to do. Hard work pays off, and I seen it actually pay off the year um, I won MVP. I worked extremely hard, so I know that all this stuff is going to pay off one day. It's what, Friday? Friday. Friday. I did a whole, that week went past fast. I just looked up, it was Monday. It's challenging. I'm just trying not to stop. Derek's progress to date and his, and his excellent progress has been driven by his focus on trying to get back. You know, it, it's not so much necessarily his body chemistry that's driving what's going on. I think it's, it's his mind and his passion to get better. I'm D. Rose, and this is The Return. I try to break everything down as simple as possible. When I'm working out, I always say, if it's painful, see how long you can go through it. Because a normal person will stop right when they feel pain. I try to see how long I can go through it because I try to make myself different than other people. I'm good right now. Um, I started running. That was my first time running. And I'm just trying to get healthy. That's my biggest thing, getting my body together, rebuilding my whole body, and just have a lot of confidence in myself and see where it takes me. That was on 18. Back to Chicago, everybody from Chicago know that you can't be gone for too long. It seemed like you'd be frantic to come back here. Being around my friends, family, fans, feels good. I'm just blessed down from here. My new commercial for the Rose 3, it's a commercial where the whole concept of the commercial is me coming back. Hey, Chris, can I get these shirts after? Yeah. My man. I think it's gonna like touch the city and touch my fans everywhere. It's for the city of Chicago. I know they should love it. 
I'm anxious actually just to see how everybody takes it in. It felt unreal, man, just walking out there, shaking everybody's hand. Felt like an actual game. I'm working out, I'm back on the court. Never stopping, man. That's why I think me and Adidas became partners. They're trying to grow, I'm trying to grow as a player, and we're never satisfied. Uh, we're always trying to improve. I could practice all day, scrimmage with the guys or whatever, but it's not gonna be the same until I step on that court again. I always try to do something to get further. It's the same way he did when he was in high school. After school, he practiced, then he went to the gym. This is what he wants. This is the life he chose. And if you want it, you have to work hard to keep it and keep on going with it. So I believe he will come back. And when he do, I'm going to be at the Bull Center cheering for my baby. <laughs>
Now I'm combining my lower body with my upper body and I'm doing it six times a week. So all that stuff is definitely helping me build my body. I got a lot of confidence with the team that we have. They see me like lifting all the time, shooting, just trying to do extra, just to show them that just because I'm not on the court with them, that I'm still working my butt off so that I can get back on the court as quick as possible. Me having that confidence comes with me knowing that I put everything, I mean everything that I had into me coming back. My true fans, they know, man, I'm never gonna stop. I know I got my family, my friends, the city behind me. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for my fans. They mean a lot to me. I can't thank them enough. That's my life. That's what you're not understanding. I will die on that court. Like, die. I'm gonna go all in for it.